Hi everyone, in this video I will be installing Ubuntu Encrypted in a dual boot setup with Windows. The updated Ubuntu installer makes it easier now compared to previous versions where you had to set up the encrypted container. But you still have to be a little bit careful when installing Ubuntu Encrypted, so some caution is needed as selecting the wrong options can delete Windows, which we don't want. So I'm in disk management here and I have Windows already installed. And here is my C drive. It's a 500 gig drive here. And I have a 32 gigabyte USB drive to put the Ubuntu installation media on. I recommend taking backups before starting and RescueZilla is a great free open source option, which I have linked above. So I'm going to download Ubuntu, going to ubuntu.com and then download Ubuntu desktop and then download the latest version. Next, I'm going to download Rufus. Going to rufus.ie, scrolling down, and I'm going to download the portable version. So once both are downloaded, I'm going to open up Rufus. Yes. Yep. And select your USB drive. And I'm going to select Ubuntu, the ISO. I'm going to set it as GPT. And leave the rest as default. And hit start. Okay. Okay. All right, it has completed. Next, restart your computer and go into the BIOS and ensure you have secure boot disabled and your USB drive is selected to boot first in your boot order. In my BIOS, secure boot is under security, secure boot, and the secure boot option. My boot order has the USB drive selected first, so it's going to boot up the Ubuntu ISO. Select try or install Ubuntu. Okay, it's booted into the Ubuntu live environment. And before I start, I'm just going to open up a terminal. And I'm going to type in sudo fdisk-l. And I'm going to scroll up and look for my disk. And in my case, it's the NVMe drive here. And we can see the partition structure. Here's the EFI partition, Microsoft Reserve partition, my C drive here, and the Windows recovery environment at the bottom. So I'm going to minimize and choose your language. Next. Keyboard layout, next. And I'm going to use a wired connection, next. Install. Interactive. Default. And I'm going to do third party and additional media formats. All right, at this screen, I'm going to select erase disk and install Ubuntu. But I'm not really going to be erasing it. Going to hit advanced features and I'll be using LVM and encryption. And so LVM is logical volume manager and it's used for managing space on your computer. And the encryption, it's going to be using LUX, Linux Unified Key Setup, LUKS for disk encryption. Okay. And after here, do not select next, otherwise, it will erase your disk. And what you need to do is select install Ubuntu alongside the Windows Boot Manager. So it's going to store the Ubuntu boot files alongside Windows in the same EFI partition. Generally, I create a separate EFI partition for Linux when I do a boot with Windows. But for this video, I will use the same EFI partition. And I'll create a later video where I will use a separate EFI partition. Next. And here it's asking where to install Ubuntu and it's selected partition number three, which is my C drive, as we saw earlier. And here it's asking how much space that I want to allocate for it. And it's going to shrink my C drive accordingly. So here's a slider and I can put more space or reduce the amount of space. And I'll leave it as 50 gigabytes for Ubuntu. Next. And here it's asking a passphrase to encrypt your files on Ubuntu. And you will be prompted for your passphrase every time you turn on your computer. In this demonstration, I'm just using a basic passphrase as an example. And ideally, you would want to use one that's more secure. And it gives a warning at the bottom. Make sure you save your passphrase. Otherwise, you'll lose all of your data. Next. And fill in your name, computer name, username, and password. And at the bottom here, it says require my password to log in. Now I have encrypted my drive, so do you really need to have a password to log in? 
So if it's your computer and you're the only one that's using it, you can make a strong argument that you don't need it. But if multiple people are using it, like a family computer, then yes, I would have this checked. And if you're not sure, keep the default. I'll keep the default here. Next, select your time zone. And it gives a summary here and we can see disk encryption, Lux with LVM. And the partitions, the C drive is going to be shrunk. And a new partition is going to be created for slash boot. And P6 is going to be created for slash. Install. And you can click the lower right icon to see the status. All right, Ubuntu is installed. I'm going to hit continue testing. And I'm going to go back into my terminal and run ftesk again. I'm going to scroll up. And we see here that two partitions had been made. Two gigabytes partition is going to be for slash boots and 39 gigabytes for slash. And I'm going to run ls block, which will list the block devices. So it will show information about my disks here. And we see at the bottom NVMe 0 and 1 P6, the partition, it has been encrypted. So that's good. Now I'm still in the Ubuntu installer live environment. So to get a cleaner look, I'm going to restart my computer. Remove my USB drive. You may have to go into your BIOS and check your boot order to ensure it boots Ubuntu. For me, in my case, the Windows Boot Manager is selected to be booted first, so I have to change it to Ubuntu. All right, so Grub comes up and I have Ubuntu and there's the Windows Boot Manager. So I'm gonna go into Ubuntu. All right, and this screen is asking you for a password to unlock your disk. And if you put in the wrong password, you'll get something like this, an error, crypt setup failed, bad password or options. Now I'm going to put in the right password. Login. All right, I'm in Ubuntu, going to open up a terminal and going to run the list block again. So we see at the bottom here, NVMe 0N1P6, and that is the partition it had created during the install and it's encrypted. So next we see DM underscore crypt dash zero. So what is that? And the system needs a way to interact with the partition and it created a device mapper called dm underscore crypt dash zero. So that is how it's going to interact with it. And you can see it under dev mapper. So I'm able to interact with my encrypted partition as dm underscore crypt dash zero, which we saw earlier when I was first booting. And it asked for the password. Next, during the install, I created an LVM physical volume. Now, this can get confusing as when thinking about physical volumes, we think of like physical hard drives, but it's just that LVM has been around for quite a while. And back then, it was generally used with physical disks. Anyways, this isn't a tutorial about LVM. It just sees it as a disk that can be used, and then a logical volume was created. So a better way to see it is if I type PV display M. Oh, going to sudo password. All right, and we see here at the top the physical volume and name for it, dm underscore crypt dash zero, and then the volume group name that it created, Ubuntu dash VG. And then the size for it is 39.11 gigabytes. And we have the logical volume that was created, Ubuntu dash LV. And there's the LVS command that can be used, which may be easier to interpret. Oh, let me sudo for that as well. And we see here the logical volume, Ubuntu-LV, the volume group, Ubuntu-VG, the attributes for it, and then the size. And then at the far right, we got the device for it, and it's referring to the device mapper, dm underscore crypt dash zero. So I'm going to scroll back up. Hopefully that clarifies a little bit about what you see here. And now what I'm going to do is reboot again to ensure I can boot into Windows. Select Windows. It's booted into Windows as expected. All right, so that's it. That's how you can install Ubuntu encrypted in a dual boot setup with Windows. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.